Konnichiwa. Today I'm going to show you how I mount the SG plate system on a snowboard. Um, I write 48 centimeters of stands on my binding. 48. That means I can write approximately 54 to 56 centimeters of distance of the SG plate system brackets. The first thing that we have to mount from the SG plate system onto the board is these two brackets. There is one bracket which is moving with a moving metal piece, it's a sl the sliding metal part. This we have to move, uh, we have to mount to the front uh, insert brackets. Uh, and this one we mount to one of the first two or three insert rows. Okay, so we have this, this, or this. I'm going to choose now the number two for the beginning because we are going to take a 50 to 54 centimeter stance for the brackets. That means 54. Here I'm going to take these uh, holes, these inserts. For the other one, and the, the rear bracket is the one that's only the turning and not sliding. So it's going to be this, just a short check, 54. To mount these brackets we use the screws with the washers. It's uh, washers for safety and uh, screws with 5 mm Allen key head. And we fix them with these screws. It's very easy and quick. And, um, and take care to use a good amount of power to fix those screws, but not too much to not destroy the inserts of the of the board. Just with good feeling that it's tight, but not too strong, not too much power. And one more thing for the rear bracket here, you can see that there is it's asymmetric with these little pieces here. That means this side is longer than the other side. That actually does not matter at all which way you, you put it, unless you're using it for very wide distance, like 60 centimeter. Uh, then you have to take care that you put the longer one to the inside, because otherwise with the holes on the, on the top plate of the carbon fiber, you wouldn't uh, fit anymore. But if you use like a stance with 54 centimeters, doesn't matter if this way or that way. Okay, so it's now mounted. Further, for the front bracket, you have to take care that this metal part, which is sliding, it's in the middle. Okay. The next step is that we mount the carbon fiber plate on the brackets. Therefore, we have to think uh, that the front binding will be mounted a few centimeters behind the center of this front bracket. That, therefore, we have to check which uh, insert pattern we use here. So, in general, we use uh, one of the, these two, like the second or the third. And therefore, we have to check the axle here. And uh, we're going to choose here these inserts, these holes, because here is the center of the, of the bracket. And we are going to use these or this insert pattern, which means this one is three centimeters behind, this one is five centimeters behind. If we want to go even more behind, we can still shift the plate here. And then we have here three centimeters, five centimeters, seven centimeters behind. So I'm trying now this variation and with these screws I'm fixing the plate to the brackets. Also here with these screws it's important to fix them with a normal amount of power, so like this, but not too much to not destroy the Allen key head, because this is 4, mi four millimeter Allen key head. It's enough power. Just check every screw if they are okay. Okay, strong enough. And just ch check if everything is strong and tight. If everything is tight, then we can proceed and go on with the mounting of the binding on the plate. Here, the most important thing is that the front binding must be a few centimeters behind the center of the axle of the front bracket. That means that the center of the front binding 
must be minimum three centimeters behind this point. So this is the center. I go three centimeters behind here. And then I mount here the binding. That means the center here and the axle here must have a distance of about five centimeters approximately. It can be more, but it shouldn't be less than three centimeters. So you can even go a little bit further back. For the rear binding, it doesn't matter if the center is right, the center of the binding is right above the center of the, the, the bracket or a little bit fore or a little bit aft. Like it will be around one centimeter inside or one centimeter outside or around the center. But this is not so much important. Very important is the front binding that it's behind, behind this uh, bottom bracket. So after mounting the front binding, a few centimeters behind the bracket, it's, only, it's easy to find out where I have to mount the rear binding. I just choose my 48 centimeters and put the center of the rear binding there. And this is my position for my bindings on the plate on the snowboard. In the beginning, when you start using the SG plate system, you will feel that you cannot uh, steer the board by, by twisting the board um, because this plate is uh, torsionally very stiff. It allows to bend in the flex, in the natural snowboard flex, a lot of power to the edge. So when there is bumps or when there is ice, you have uh, all the edge around here of the snowboard, all the edge in the snow and have a good edge grip. Um, in the beginning it's, it might be a little bit difficult because you don't bend the board as much with your legs uh, as you are used to because you are in general riding the plate and the plate is giving the power to the board. So you're not directly with the board, uh, directly connected to the board and this gives uh, some kind of suspension effect that when it's bumpy the plate gives a lot of suspension and takes a lot of the bump. Of, uh, of the bumps and uh, on the other side it gives a lot more pressure to the edge because you don't torsionally twist the snowboard and that's why on the ice you have a very good edge contact to the slope uh, which is not which you're not used to before um, in general I personally ride uh, two centimeters or four centimeters more tighter uh, bracket distance in the slalom and more wider in the GS. More wider gives me more stability for high speed and for longer boards and more tighter bracket distance gives me more quick changing uh, edges uh, turn to turn which I need for the slalom riding. So just uh, a little input uh, that on shorter boards with, with short turn you can use tighter distance, longer boards, longer distance. Um, in general, it is like this, that you uh, have to find out your own uh, position on the plate because everybody has a very uh, different position, uh, different body masses, like uh, I have long legs, other guys have short legs, and uh, everybody has to find out his own position on the plate. But in the, the, the general points, you take care, it's very important. All the rest is just very little things you find out yourself.